organizations are trying to develop a more as-a-service model for their IT. And we've been successful with things like software as a service and infrastructure as a service. But one of the missing elements has been data. How do we make data more service oriented? Joining me to help with that conversation, I've invited David Chang. He's a senior vice president at Actifio and also a co-founder. David, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, George. So why don't you take me through what we have here? What I'd like to share with you is Actifio's opinion of what essentially the missing link is in today's uh, modern IT and the, the cloud uh, movement. Okay. So this is what we call the enterprise data as a service. I think as George mentioned before, if you look at the last 20 years, you've seen a great leap in terms of uh, companies offering software as a service, so the SaaS model. And uh, over the span of the last 15 years or so, you've seen great leaps and bounds in terms of offering infrastructure as a service. And uh, we've seen uh, essentially imp implementation in terms of uh, wide adoption of VMware, for example, mm -hmm. and also using Amazon as an infrastructure as a service. You've right. seen uh, a large number of companies has been very successful in implementing both of these. Yes, absolutely. So then, how do we get data into that picture? Yeah, we really think data is the missing link okay. in this new picture, and that's what's really preventing enterprises or companies from achieving that speed they're looking for. And what we think the, in terms of the data as a service, enterprise data as a service, the EDAS model or enterprise data as a service, um, if you look at what the traditional IT has done or the enterprises have done is you have your production, which is your data here, right. and typically they'll make anywhere from six to 20 copies of data through the life cycle of sure. that application data. And this is in the forms of backup, disaster recovery, business continuity. In some cases, you may have six to 20 copies just on you know, copies that's available for testing and, sure. and development. And then if you're looking at sort of the new you know, data is the information lifeblood of your, ent of your enterprise, all the analytics that has to be done on that data to kind of monetize that information is also very key. Right. So you know, pretty soon, you know, for in terms of the original size of the data, you'll have to six to twenty copies of that uh, very quickly proliferating in your in your data in your data center and enterprise. And it's not just the capacity that consumes; it's also just managing all of these copies, right? Yeah. So we think some of the attributes that's very important in terms of uh, enterprise data as a service is one is time, right? If you have a 20 terabyte database, you know, if it takes you a week to actually make a copy of that for test dev or analytics, then it's not as useful as sure. having an instant capability of making that available for right, all the then different use on cases. Your production data, right? Absolutely. Okay. And then the second is cost. Now it takes a lot of money to actually make these copies in sure. addition to time. Right. So a virtualized copy of this is, makes a huge difference in terms of uh, the, uh, the budget or the cost elements of making that So available. that way it won't consume as much raw space. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. And, f and third is what we think it's risk. It's really an element of control. What I mean by that is, as you know today, um, all over the newspaper headlines, you have ransomware, you have sure. security penetrations. How do you ensure that the data you have within your enterprise is finally, is, uh, you know, you're able to actually control that? So you know, for production purposes, you have the least number of operators that have access to that. But right. for the additional copies you may need for analytics, test and dev, uh, management, you have to make sure that data goes through an element of data masking before it, it's available to the other groups. Okay, so some, some level of security there uh, is helpful, okay? And then how about efficiency? And finally, efficiency. And this is really what we need automation, right? So the, the, the traditional, if you will, the cloning process of making this data available all involves multiple IT tickets. It involves a sure. human that actually sits there issuing command to actually make that data available. So this is you know, one of the primary reasons why it may, takes, you know, it may take up to a couple weeks before that data is available. Well, and I would assume the more we have a human involved here, the more chances that something goes wrong and we have to do the whole thing all over again yeah, too, right? Yeah, exactly. And you have a higher risk of uh, some sensitive information leaking out to the wild 
as well as, as long as you have that human element that's involved. Okay. And then, and I guess here you have the different kind of positions or targets that uh, IT will place uh, this information? Yeah. I think uh, this whole enterprise data as a service, what we call is really a continuum. What that really means is that uh, if you look at traditional IT, mm -hmm. this will always be around to, as, to play a role in uh, today's enterprise. I, I think over time this will get smaller and so smaller, right. but it has, still has some enterprise critical application or data that needs to remain here. Okay. And through this, you have um, enterprises um, you know, doing private clouds, you have uh, managed service providers, then you have the public clouds of the world. So we see data needs to be a medium that's uh, transparently, you can have very rapid movement uh, from your IT into the rest of the, the cloud continuum that you actually can make use of this information. All right, so that's a good framework of kind of the problem here, David. So specifically, how does, what does Actifio do to solve this problem? Yeah, over this last seven years, we've built up a patent portfolio of over 50 patents. So what essentially we do is what we call capture, manage, and use. The way we do that is we have very efficiently incremental capture your production environment. So okay. it's the least cost possible to your production infrastructure. Once we capture that, we create what we call a golden copy. Okay. And this golden copy now could be used instantaneously over all different the, all the different use cases that we've talked about above here. Okay, and then it could be used, I guess, in, a, in, in the variety of different targets that we're talking about. Both here. across this uh, enterprise data as a service continuum again, all the way from I2 to your private VMware implementation into an MSP type of environment into a public clouds. Okay, that's awesome. So then uh, for the folks that aren't familiar with Actifio, tell us a little bit about who you guys are. Yeah, we uh, Actifio is a company that's been uh, around for seven years focusing on this space, enterprise okay. data as a service. We have over 2,200 customers across 36 different countries. And this is a very proven technology in terms of implementing enterprise data as a service. All right, great. Well, David, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank right. you. Thank you, George. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.